Hey everyone, if you are new to this channel, my name is Sahil Gugna and I'm your average guide. Through this channel, we are trying to form a community where I invite different industry professionals so that you can learn directly from them. I received a lot of messages from you guys on Instagram to invite someone from college background and who is doing good in the software industry. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the journey of a college graduate who is currently working as a data and cloud engineer. So without any delay, let's get started. Hi Darpan, first of all, thanks a lot for joining the call today. Um, thank you Sahil for inviting me for a chat. Um, thanks, it's my pleasure. So before we start our conversation, I would like you to introduce yourself to the audience, please. I'm Darpan. Right now I'm working as data and cloud engineer with one of the major bank of Canada. Um, that's from high level. Um, I had my BTEC from India and then like in Canada, I completed postgraduate in cloud computing for big data and pursuing career within the same field now. And Darpan, one thing I know about you is that you are a college graduate and uh, I want to know whether the college it provides the right skills or the I should say the industry level skills to get a good job. So what was your experience with your college? Uh, that's pretty interesting actually. Um, so it really depends on like what you want to learn out. Colleges focus more on application. Um, so like industry application, mainly if we talk in general about like IT sector, um, I think colleges will give you some like little background on like how to write code or how to program, but you will not uh, know some details around like optimization or like what how to maybe improve or like how to think in more depth uh, basically that knowledge we can get from maybe university or like um, more more detailed course uh, with with college like once if you have some little bit of background like bachelor's already from uh, back home or like I, I think college education will just give you more hands-on practice to you uh, so that will be I think and just make most out of the college um, only thing I want to add the last is like your curiosity will define like how much you make out of the college or um, maybe it's university <laughs> right right well said Darpan and I personally think that the college courses they are more of touching up the services than going in the depth and industry demands the skills that you you, you should have the in-depth skills right so if you are going to a college then you will have to put on a lot of efforts by yourself and then only you can compete with the you know the industry graduates or you can get the good job in the industry right so like what i want to say is that you need to put in a lot of effort by yourself don't just get dependent upon the college course you have to purchase a lot of udemy courses maybe you have to go to youtube you have to read a lot of documentations before you are actually ready for the skills for sure you brought a good point um actually with so like when you are in the market for a job in this country uh, you are not only competing along with just like college graduates but you are competing along with like those who already have experience for like three four years of experience and also like bachelors and masters graduate from the university so colleges colleges will be for uh, you you can imagine right from this like colleges will be at the bottom so you need to put lot of effort uh, in building your portfolio and resume any education institution will provide you like just basic understanding of um, but like on our own we need to do several projects and then build up our resume and like portfolio right right aur darpan agar main aapki baat karu ki aapko kya struggles face karni padi jab aap college se graduate hue since you, you are a college graduate to kafi logo ko lagta hai ki jo college graduates hain unko zyada struggle face karni padti hai to aapki kya journey thi ki aapko kitne kitni jobs aapne apply kari ki कि आपको बाद में एक फाइनली एक जॉब ऑफर मिला आप क्या आपको डायरेक्टली आपकी पसंद की जॉब प्रोफाइल मिल गई थी तो आपकी जर्नी क्या रही जब से आप ग्रेजुएट हुए और जब से आपको आपकी फर्स्ट टेक्निकल फील्ड में जॉब मिली जर्नी काफी इंटरेस्टिंग है आई वुड से लाइक आई हैव वर्क इन डिफरेंट प्रोफाइल्स सिंस माय इंटर्नशिप सो इट्स नॉट दैट लाइक आई लैंडेड डायरेक्टली इनटू द जॉब आई एम डूइंग राइट नाउ सो पहले से देखे तो I was doing BTEC in India, right? So, like there, um, I got an opportunity to work with company um, as a software developer um, as an intern. So, वो मेरा four five months का experience था. Either आके it was college time, and then I I was looking for I I was looking to enter into the field. So I thought, okay, मेरा break time है. Why not go with like my field job and uh, work on it? so i applied nearly more than like i think for sure mm -hmm. 70 plus or i would say 100 plus but and then i got response from only few companies uh, mm -hmm. so first job as an intern mujhe co op ke liye mili thi wo product support role mein mili thi jo ki 
not completely technical i had to get query from customer understand like so i'll work on their like understand their uh, co- uh, software configuration and everything and then based on that i need to just provide solution and then if i cannot solve i need to pass it on to software development team so that was my first role uh, after that i had an official co-op term i wanted i made it clear to the same company that i want to work as a software developer or more technical role not just product support and luckily i got um, <laughs> back into the same company as a software developer but my main duties were Uh, revolving around like queuing and automating the cases that they had with um with the software but like even that was good experience i never never thought it like okay so this role is like support or this role is a little low I, no just first enter into the field um, get a feeling of what are the roles or like what you have to learn so focus more on learning first after entering and then you will get to know what are the areas or domain that you can work into after that like i decided okay um, i need to enter into the field mm-hmm. of study which is like cloud computing big data that is what was booming and manager college select ki thi either i was getting into humber uh, into different program but like this lambton college that i studied into was less known but like i sh- i chose it because like that was the only college which had a uh, program of my interest which is cloud computing for big data i had to enter now um, <laughs> into the field so i started looking into different companies and like again i was applying to more than during my internship it, itself like i was started looking into full time jobs from mid internship so that like i get job right away after uh, i finish my internship i had an offer from the same company for software development but like i wanted to get into mm-hmm. cloud big data so mm-hmm. then i got a, then i got call from this company um, adastra and it, it's very nice company to start with um, consulting company so like you will get lot of exposure first like because you get to work on different clients and each client has different environment enterprises are big so their working style and you get to know more but even after joining consulting firm i got, my first role was as as a business analyst main mera background is all technical i like only technical but i had to go on a project uh, as a business analyst which i i is which i kind of was little hesitant so i started learning on my own uh, on parallelly mm-hmm. like i was doing full time job after work i was um, after work i was doing certification so i started with like google cloud certification and then it got my interest so like i started studying more and more um, and that's how i landed up finally into cloud and data environment so like com- this consulting company i'm working with is already into like data warehousing kind of environment only data warehousing data governance so which made me ready at least like i first role i didn't like but like i mean i got to know nitty gritties of what to expect or like what's the end to end flow and everything so like i understood from the business per point like mm-hmm. how, what they want and uh, what we need to deliver them right so just get and enter into it if you don't like or something just i mean explore like side by side mm-hmm. on your interest and then try to switch over from there mm-hmm. so like that's how my overall journey is like till my current role i think you brought a very good point forward that initially you might not get the right position or the position that you are desiring but you somehow have to enter the technical industry right you have to get a profile from which you can maybe in future you can change your profile and get to into more technical role and since your first role it wasn't purely technical but it was somehow connected because you were reporting directly to the software dev team right and then 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 you keep on uh, developing your skills on the side and then you try to switch the roles and then you were successful and i think the most of the students they you know they even when you were applying for jobs you told that you got you applied for around 100 jobs and most of the students they quit after applying 20 or 30 jobs and they, they and they think that they might not get the right position or maybe the job roles and i think this is a good take take away from your experience yep for sure uh... and darpan aapne ek bahut hi important point beech mein mention kiya tha ki aapne kafi certifications kari side by side for example google cloud certification ya fir aur bhi aapne kari aur jab main aapke linkedin profile pe gaya to maine wahan pe bhi dekha ki aapne bahut sari certifications kari hai to mera ek question certification se related hai कि सर्टिफिकेशंस का क्या रोल होता है एक जॉब लेने में और क्या वो सर्टिफिकेशंस वो होनी चाहिए कि जिसको करके आपको बाद में एग्जाम देना पड़ता है टू गेट सर्टिफाइड या फिर जैसे कि यू डेमी या फिर ऑनलाइन और वेबसाइट्स हैं जो हमें सिर्फ कोर्स कंप्लीट करने पे सर्टिफिकेट देती हैं राइट तो 
तो क्या इसका सीन क्या होता है का? There are so many certificates in IT. जो मैंने लिया है वो क्लाउड में मेनली लिया है प्रोफेशनल लेवल सर्टिफिकेशन दैट यू गेट नोन ऑथोरिटी सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी टेक टॉक अबाउट नेटवर्किंग लाइक सिस्को इज वन ऑफ द नेटवर्किंग डिवाइस इज वैंडर सो फॉर देम देर इज सर्टिफिकेशन कॉल्ड सी सी एन एसको सर्टिफाइड नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सो उसमें भी लाइक प्रोफेशनल लेवल एसोसिएट लेवल ऐसा सर्टिफिकेशन होता है सो यू नीड टू गेट दो काइंड ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन टू रियली मेक अ डिफरेंस इवन इफ यू डोंट हैव एक्सपीरियंस आई वुड सजेस्ट टू गेट सर्टिफाइड लाइक इट विल गिव यू बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड लाइक कॉन्सेप्चुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ लाइक एवरीथिंग एंड देन यू विल बी एबल टू डिस्प्ले लाइक आई मीन यू विल स्टार्ट एट लीस्ट गेटिंग इंटरव्यू कॉल्स बेस्ड ऑन योर सर्टिफिकेशन दैट्स वॉट आई कैन से बट लाइक विथ एक्सपीरियंस इट विल एड मोर वैल्यूज लाइक इफ यू इफ यू आर सर्टिफाइड एंड इफ यू आर एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल सो यू नो वॉज गोइंग ऑन इन रियल एंड एंड रिक्रूटर्स विल रीच आउट टू यू यू विल नॉट हैव टू फाइंड योर पार रिक्रूटर्स विल फाइंड यू Yeah that's very true and i guess that's it for our today's talk there but thanks a lot for sparing your time and sharing your valuable experience with the viewers so guys this was our today's video i hope you have really liked the video and learned a lot the main point that i wanted to bring forward is that if you have right skills you will definitely land into your dream job irrespective of if you are from a college or a university make sure to be persistent and keep applying for the jobs with the right resume see you in the next video till then stay safe